Have you ever wished that there were custom functions in Terraform? Well, now there are. Sort of. Let me explain. What's up, everybody? It's Ned Bellavance, nedinthecloud.com. And for today's Terraform Tuesday, I want to talk about provider-defined functions. Whenever I'm delivering a course on Terraform and we get to the functions section, someone inevitably asks me if they can write their own custom functions. And it's usually a developer, and that makes perfect sense. If you're using a general purpose programming language, you can write your own methods and functions to help with reusability and consistency. It's the dry mentality, DRY. My answer, up until now was no, you cannot write your own functions. If you want a new function in Terraform, you would have to try and get it added to the Terraform binary, or you could write a module that does something similar to what the function should do. But now there's another option with the release of Terraform 1.8, HashiCorp added provider defined functions. Let's dig in. All the functions in Terraform are built into the core binary. That means they are a part of the compiled code and they execute super fast. If you wanted to write your own custom repeatable logic, you could do that with modules, but modules are slower and they don't have access to the full power of the Go programming language. You're restricted to what's available in HCL. But there's another set of binaries that do use Go and are compiled, and those are the provider plugins. So why not allow those plugins to define functions as well? That's exactly what provider defined functions are. As I just mentioned, provider defined functions are written and compiled as part of the provider plugin. The syntax might look a little funky, but it does make sense. You need to tell Terraform which plugin the function is coming from. So it starts with the provider keyword and then two colons, then the provider name followed by two colons, and then the function name with a set of parentheses. Just like a built-in function, the arguments for a function go inside those parentheses. For example, the AWS provider has a new function called ARN underscore parse. And that function breaks up an ARN into its constituent pieces. It's something you could have done with a combination of other functions or a dedicated module, but this way is way easier and possibly better than whatever you may have written or cobbled together in the past. The function takes a single ARN as an argument and returns a map with keys for each component, like the partition, service, and account ID. In fact, why don't we just see this and a few other provider functions in action? Here's a configuration I've put together that creates an AWS VPC. My VPC, once it's created, has an ARN that I can retrieve and parse. Just like regular functions, I can try out the provider-defined functions from within the Terraform console. So I'll pull up the terminal, and I'll run Terraform console, and then from within the console, I'm going to run the provider function. So again, the syntax is provider, colon, colon, and in this case, I'm using the AWS provider, so it's AWS, and then two more colons, and then the function name, arn underscore parse, and then in those parentheses, parentheses, I'll put the reference to my AWS VPC. So that'll be AWS VPC dot my VPC dot ARN. And I get back from that the ARN broken up like I would want. So I can use some parts of it somewhere else in my configuration. I can take this same expression and use it to say build a policy that references a partial ARN for my VPC. HashiCorp has also added some functions into the built-in Terraform provider. So it's actually baked into the binary, but these are separate functions that are part of the Terraform provider, not the Terraform binary. I know it can be a little confusing, but there's a provider inside the binary. It has three functions so far, and I think part of this was a proof of concept, and part of it was just like 
helpful for HashiCorp to have. They're encode TF vars, decode TF vars, and encode EXPR or expression. Now you can read more about them in the documentation, but they're for fairly uncommon situations and some of them could be replaced with the new built-in template string function. So keep that in mind. As a quick aside, I happen to notice that the core functions that are part of the binary can now be referenced using their extended name, core colon colon function name. Now, not sure how long that's been the case, but if I run say core colon colon max, which gives you the maximum number of a set of numbers and do one, three, and five, that renders properly and gives me five. It's not super important, but I thought it was interesting. I wanna mention here that if you plan to use provider-defined functions, you're going to want to set a lower bound for the provider plugins and Terraform version you're using. Older versions of the provider don't have those functions in it, and so Terraform would return an error. And earlier versions of Terraform have no idea what this provider-defined syntax is, and so they'll throw an error. In particular, if you're writing modules for others to consume and you want to use these provider-defined functions, make sure you specify the minimum provider version and the minimum Terraform version. I started looking through the most popular providers on the registry. And right now, here's the providers that have some functions defined. AWS, Google, Kubernetes, Local, and Time. Now, right now, there's really no easy way to discover functions outside of looking into a particular provider and seeing if it has functions. And I guess that's kind of the point. The functions are supposed to be something specific to that provider. The function arn parse is pretty specific to AWS stuff. The function dir exists is in the local provider, and that checks to see if a directory exists. The function RFC 3339 parse in the time provider breaks apart an RFC 3339 timestamp. That alone is very useful, and I think that might actually belong in Terraform proper. While I appreciate the addition of provider-defined functions, I'm a little concerned about the discoverability for generic utility functions. I would expect to find ARN parse in the AWS provider. It's an AWS specific thing, but I might not to think to check the local provider for a function that verifies a directory's existence. I'd probably just look in the built-in functions, see that it isn't there and clue something else together. On the topic of discoverability, I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple providers spring up that are purely for functions. In fact, you could go ahead and write your own right now. Is that something you'd like to know how to do? Leave a comment down below and let me know. I have been learning Go, and I think I could create a video on writing a utility provider for Terraform that just has functions in it. Provider-defined functions are a way for Terraform to support functions outside of what is baked into the core binary. This is an important step forward for Terraform, and it makes it easier for you to develop your own logic or leverage providers to bring additional functionality to Terraform. That'll do it for today. Thank you as always for watching, like, subscribe, and all those kinds of things. Until next time, keep calm and Terraform on.